Hello there. Peter Andre here. I used to be a singer 20 odd years ago. Uh, Rob asked me to do the introduction today because uh, he's making a cup of tea. So, uh, welcome to Shrewton. I think that's how you pronounce it. Shrewton in Wiltshire for the final day of Bedroom 2 rework. How are you all? How was your night? It's quite chilly out here. I'm not used to it being an Aussie, so uh, I shall probably be wearing my onesie underneath my uh, pretend six pack. So anyway, I'll let you know how Rob gets on later. I'm, I'm just going to sit around all day and probably read the paper and uh, I might drink some chamomile tea. So I'll see you later. So we are done in this room. Finally, um, as you can see, all nicely painted. The brief was uh, run it white, which is fine. So, um, all the woodwork's done. Um, windows need to clean, but there you go. Um, just white, white, white. Really nice. Uh, finally, done the radiator. Um, all the woodwork's done. Laid a new carpet. Um, which also looks great with the white and built some wardrobes so brief originally was for some shelving so I put a shelving in then a canopy over the top and also uh, a base um, just to store stuff on personally if it was me I'd have dropped the um, clothing rail down by uh, maybe another six inches and put some boxes uh, hung some boxes underneath from the top to um, store stuff in but there you go so that's that and shelves here the shelves you'll notice on here they start wide at the bottom get narrower going up and then at the top it's narrower still so that comes down at an angle out and then on this end got a narrow one at the bottom sorry it's a bit blurry actually and then they go out the other the other way so it's kind of a complete twist on it um, has it worked who knows uh, I've had a bit of license to have a bit of a play so I quite like it um, and so the canopy at the top is at a slight angle as well just to blend in with it you'll find the line all the way down so there we go so there's the wardrobe and very nice it is too. Uh, put in a new socket as well with USB connections. Big fan of those. Um, so that's handy um, to plug phones in, that sort of thing. So there we go. There is the spanky new room. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Or should I say bonjour, 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 cobbers. How's it going, Sheila? Um, thanks very much to Peter Andre earlier who filled in for me while I was making uh, making a cuppa. Peter Andre doesn't have a cat. Um, he actually has a wallaby, um, but um, which he keeps oddly he keeps in a jar. Isn't that odd? Um, anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed a little project. Um, I haven't got much else to say at the moment, so you, you're going to stick with the projects. I'm afraid at the moment, the DIY stuff. Um, don't look. Oh, she's such a tinker. Look, as you can see, <laughs> myself and Pete, <laughs> we go to the same gymnasium. Um, come on, then. Psst, psst. you can come up now. Now they've seen the six pack. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, wardrobe, just you'll see at the end as well, there is hanging space there as well. <laughs> There's enough to hang a person, you'll see at the end. Um, come on, then. You're going to say hello to the boys and girls? Are you? No, you're not, are you? You're probably going to chew my ear, aren't you? Hmm? Yeah. Um, anyway. So, yes. So that was that. Uh, what else? Not a great deal else, to be honest. Um, I have 
uh, as you'll notice, um, a baseball cap on today. Uh, that is because it is Ellie, my daughter, you know my daughter. It's her partner, Jordan. It's his birthday today. And uh, Jordan's a big baseball cap fan. So I thought rather than the saucepan of birthday, we'd have the baseball cap of birthday. Or as I call it, the baseball cap of love. Um, so Jordan, happy birthday. Um, Jordan, of course, is Lily's dad. So, um, so yeah, hope you had a great day. Another lockdown birthday, isn't it? I think pretty much we're coming up to where we've almost all had a lockdown birthday now. It's coming up to a year, isn't it? So, um, so yes, uh, and um, they're also um, they're on the last day of of um, isolating because it uh, flashed up on their app that they'd they had to isolate for whatever so it's the last day today for that so anyway have a great day and um and i'm sure i will see you over the, the weekend now i'm allowed to um so yeah that's that's really been my day so i've got a joke for you um it is this one's a little bit saucy so if you're under the age of 16 or easily offended don't don't listen from here on in you've got five seconds to Switch it off and go make a cup of tea. Okay, so those of you that are still here, so because I've been painting this week, we've got a painter gag. We've got a couple of painter gags actually. How many surrealists does it take to change a light bulb? Or how many surrealist painters does it take to change a light bulb? And the answer is a blue fish. <laughs> I still love that one. Um, so, uh, so the um, um this lady wanted uh, a contractor to do some painting for her and she went to the agency and they said yeah we've got the chat for you and uh so it painted uh it was a hall stairs and landing and um a couple of days later she had a call back from the um agency employment agency saying we're so dreadfully sorry we sent the wrong person to do the job we got confused and uh, we ended up sending a gynecologist rather than a painter and decorator uh, we're so sorry sorry and we'll reimburse you any money due and she got back to them and said no not at all he did a cracking job unfortunately i went out and forgot to leave a key under the mat and he painted the whole stairs landing through the letterbox. <laughs> That's so naughty. But it did make me chuckle. So anyway, um, don't ask me to explain that one, please. Uh, and uh, most importantly, be safe. Are you going to say goodbye, Tots? Are you going to say goodbye to the boys and girls? Are you going to say goodbye? Say bye-bye, boys and girls. No, she's not in the slightest bit interested. Be safe.